This is Twit. I was wound up driving here. I was thinking about what Evan Williams said at TechCrunch Disrupt uh, uh, for the two hours. Uh, what a jerk. Well, let's get to that. I'm, uh, fingerprint reader. No, I, let's get back to the fingerprint. <laughs> this is, Evan I, Williams, I just want to point out. Evan Williams says that tech press sucks and doesn't know what they're talking about. He caused this. He does, He brought apart. Uh, what was he, he talking he, about at Disrupt? He, he he was blaming the tech bloggers for not for not um, knowing what they're talking about. He says what does that even mean? It, it, it means that there's oh, no money he's doing, for real tech journalism He's doing anymore. medium now. Well, this fact. is this yeah. is his new business. He's trying to get people to be real tech bloggers. So medium, media. just like Twitter, basically builds its success on our content. Yeah. This was always a little bit of a burn for me that Twitter was a silo. You would tweet, and all the value in Twitter comes from the tweets that the people who use it yeah. put into it. But they control it. They don't let it out. They don't let anybody else use it. They don't let, and and now they're going to make a lot of money off of it. And Medium here, Ev's doing the same thing now. Ev started Blogger, which was a great thing. Great well, thing. It was a great thing uh, um, because it was at a time where the, there was no. It was early was blogging. No he sold it to Google. It was a great platform. Started Odeo, which was a podcast platform. And then iTunes comes along. Apple does iTunes. And 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 Ev says, I guess this I guess Odeo's dead. Uh, Where I'm going with this though is to do real journalism. For instance, if Twit wanted to do a half hour special on how the iPhone 5S was built. Right. That means you have to go and convince Katie Cotton to let you have access to That's right. Johnny Ives, which right. is which is not going to happen. Impossible. Yep. Uh, and then you have to pay uh what uh, somebody like John and and a camera crew to go to China and go to you know see how it's built right that cost ten thousand dollars right and it's expensive there's no money for journalist like journalism right. like that so what do we do we get press release rewrites and Twitter took a lot of the money out of this by putting by making it you know it, you you can't get noticed for good stuff anymore that's well, why I write about hot dogs. Doesn't, doesn't totally Twitter, make sense to wait me. Wait a minute. Doesn't right? Twitter help you get noticed? No, it, it sticks your good content in a stream of <laughs> On my screens at home, I have 40, I follow 40,000 people. I get well, a new there tweet. you go. No, but I get, it I'm watching the world. I get to watch a new tweet every half a second. So if a, if John writes a brilliant tweet, it's off the screen well, in you 20 seconds. Robert, and there always, it goes. You know what, Robert, you've always said this, and I've always said, well, why do you follow so goddamn many people? Of because course, it's like a lot of cussing in the show, ladies like and gentlemen. Oh, sorry about that. That's no, okay. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. If I follow a much more discreet number, probably around 1,500 people. I just I follow Scoble and I can get all those. He summarizes. I, I retweet. <laughs> there is some He's way a retweet to retweet, but nut. there's no money You know, in it, it, it pays, though, to have a captive audience because they, they have to pay attention to what you're saying. Otherwise, your pearls of wisdom will be lost like tears in the rain. Mm -hmm. But even if, okay, let's talk about how people get paid for tech journalism. Let's say you get 5,000 hits to your blog, right? And what's the average CPM? The CPM is uh, payment per thousand viewers, right? Twenty-five cents for that sort of thing. Like, yeah, you might get five dollars. What do you get? What do you twenty-five get, cents? Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah Peter yeah, at the yeah. loop. What do you guys get for uh, CPM? Uh, the average CPM. I can't tell you. What's that? I can't tell you. I'm not yeah. really involved in that end of the business. But it's it's five to fifteen dollars, right? It's not more than fifteen. It's as low as twenty-five cents. High. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, if, you, if you're going Google with federated media cents. and they're selling the creme de la creme, you might get, you might get ten bucks, but they take forty percent. All right, so, so if, you're getting six bucks. If your blog post gets five thousand hits, which is pretty difficult to do, actually, um, you know, if you're at the verge or something, you can get, and you wrote about the new iPhone, you'll get a few million, but that's pretty rare in this business. So you get five thousand hits to your blog, and you get five dollars per CPM, that means you get paid $25 to write a blog post. Right. You're not going to go to China and get on a plane and right. do some real journalism. You're going to rewrite a press release in 20 minutes. Well, there's other things to do Shouldn't besides take rewriting long. press releases. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For a professional like John, he can rewrite one in about 15. John doesn't, John's never, John's never rewritten press releases. No, I don't rewrite. I, but, it's but easy you're enough a, to write. I can write a whole piece. You just copy you do, and paste. You do, what we, you do what Twit does, which is punditry. We don't do... Original, you know, actually in the old days with Inside Track, you did a lot of what they called enterprise reporting, where you would actually go out and get a story and be the first to break it. But uh, we don't ever do that. We don't need to do that because there are people doing that. What we do is we analyze, we give yeah. you context, we talk about it, and I think that that's adding value. That's that's. But tech the money journalism. changed, uh, John. I, I, when I first met you, and by you, the way, we do pretty well. It's not ten bucks. For what a, magazine? Infoworld or Infoworld? Yeah. Week? 
Well, no, I've been writing. Well, I, it was Infoworld I was writing for until 1986, and then I went to PC Magazine. And I'm, PC Magazine. I still, and, uh, I still and of course, Macworld. But PC there. Magazine back in the day was this thick. With it was up to 750 were, pages. And and there was wow. millions of dollars of revenue in that was, magazine, twice a month. right? There was I used to work for a magazine, so I knew how it built. Twitter eviscerated this new world or took advantage of it at minimum. And there is no way to get journalists paid anymore because of Twitter. Wait a minute. You're blaming Twitter for the fail and failing? of, think, Especially when he comes after us and says there's no quality anymore. There's no money anymore. So Oh, uh, he's irked. because, And I don't blame him. I don't see how... But explain I think, to me why I think Twitter, I'm but, on board with Scoble 100% on this. All right, explain it to me. Well, there's nothing to explain. He's just how going after Ev Williams for making a big... Being... A, all haughty about his attitudes and, and he's always been kind of a self-absorbed character and so now he's going oh there's nothing any good in what he does anymore and he's, he makes a big stink about it and it offended of all people i want to m m mention this to everybody out there watching this show it's a historical moment i have never seen robert scoble upset about anything <laughs> he thinks everything is I've great never, he's sad i've never seen him sad in my life you know yeah. actually it's ironic because mg siegler also went off uh, against the tech journalist community and and he at TechCrunch among others was one of the things that brought the tech no, journalist yeah. world to its knees but i don't i don't i still don't MG get how you blame twitter for what i blame evan for m making billions of dollars off this world where we give away our content for but free. why did pc then, magazine go and then away? he expects us it's to online. have good quality but why what happened that there was no revenue for uh, PC uh, it was a it was a not Twitter. It was a weird, vicious cycle of what people thought were that people thought advertising was going to be effective, and all the tech companies were sold a bill of goods that online was going to be better because they can go directly to the person that they, and it's easier to track and all the right, rest of it. Right. And that's why they pulled all their ads out of the uh, magazines. That's why it didn't it, you didn't see Vogue magazine destroyed because nobody was thinking Fa that way. Fashion is still fashion very... still in, and you could I still and car magazines still have some yeah. some support. But the, the yeah. tech magazines, because of Intel, AMD, well, all these big companies. You, you, know, you know what Adam said? Adam Curry. You've heard of him, right? Yes. I, you know, I work with him. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you're out of here. Sorry. No, Adam actually said a very astute thing the last time he was on Twit. He said the problem is that you've gone from scarce inventory, the kinds of inventory ad pages. To infinite. PC, to yeah. infinite inventory. Right. Be because there's no limit to the number of banner ads. And as a result, as always with any resource, if it goes from scarce to infinite, the value of it drops like a disappears. rock. Disappears. Yep. But that's not Evan Williams' fault. He benefited from it. And okay, he was. Yeah, cute I, I when would he, submit he, he benefited. You know, when, when, when we were all in one point, room. he's not. He says he benefited from it, and he thinks it's wrong for him to take this attitude that he's taken. That Scoble's yeah, criticizing. Yeah, now he's a billionaire, and he can do something about it. He can put his money where his mouth is. Like Jeff Bezos and, buying the Post. Absolutely, pay yeah. for good journalism and help people make money. By doing their homework, I, you know. I mean, yeah, what, is Jeff just Bezos, wrote, what is Jeff Bezos buying the buying the post? Actually, how does that help journalism in any substantial industry changing way? It might give the you know the the journalists who work at the post a job, but it doesn't give everybody else a job. It doesn't make right. it, you know, pay. But you know, but, you forget. But we also, haven't yet not, seen why just, he bought it. Uh, it. That might play out over a couple of years, right? Yeah, no, I understand that. But look, it's not just that that the the advertising model has changed, and it's not just that there isn't the money in it anymore. There are a lot more people doing it, and there are a lot more people saying for free, the tech and they're willing to do it for free. And it, it comes back for me to what Harlan Ellison said about paying the writer. You know, I mean, cross my. You guys with sound like the music industry whining <laughs> about the records collapsing. I'm all. You sound like the movie oh, industry complaining I, about piracy. Look at that's the I world has changed. The internet is here. Things. Figure I'm, out a I'm, way to make a living. It's not anybody's responsibility, Evs or anybody else's, to make you make a living. Figure out a way to make a I living. I have figured doing it. That's it. not but the point. I, I have figured it out. Whining that the I internet. I have here. figured it out, and I went to work for Rackspace. I write it's about hot dogs. That's paying my my bill, and I also do a no agenda show you go to no agenda show.com we essentially solicit money from people to listen to our exactly there's pricing. all sorts of ways to try to make this work but when he says the the tech industry doesn't oh, I don't, know what you know what evan is about. irrelevant isn't he really come on let's no, be he's honest. not irrelevant he's going ipo next week so what come on he's a big, he's a big fat rich guy <laughs> who had one really good idea which was blogger.com uh, twitter was well he twitter was twitter. not his idea right. he just happened to be around while somebody else thought of it and i feel bad for jack dorsey because well, he'll probably be a billionaire uh, too. He's Dom. Not. Dom Segal again. And Dom, who's getting nothing. He's what, the programmer who wrote the gosh darn code 
or Cra- at least crashes. Is that right? He doesn't get nothing. anything. That guy. He was a contract he programmer. Oh, uh-huh. he didn't get nothing. He, he was uh, in the room, got nothing. Uh, Jack got kicked out, and then got a little bit when he got brought back. And uh, uh, Noah, Noah got almost nothing. Yeah, that's uh, kind of sad. It's very sad. Um, Things times change. That's what Leo says. The times have changed. Times I, have changed. You know, if you're a travel agent, I feel bad for you. Yeah, but that's but don't no reason blame for the Ev Williams to come no, no, out and no, criticize oh, all these travel always, agents. You know, let's be Leo, honest. Let's Ev's be clear. never been a great guy. And then guy. we'll get back to the fingerprint scanner. because Actually, Ev was a good guy. <laughs> he gave he gave the Odeo investors their money back, which oh, was, I sweet. thought, an interesting move. Oh. I'm not blaming him for doing Twitter and taking advantage of it. I'm blaming him for becoming a billionaire right. and then blaming us for right. taking advantage of Twitter oh, you, and you, understanding the business model. So you the poor. business model is a $15 <laughs> business model, and you can't do real journalism on $15. Well, find another dollars. way to do it. This is where I totally about, disagree with you. I mean, this is right. where I, I completely disagree with you. I The, the problem isn't... Uh, it, it, it isn't Twitter. The problem isn't social media. The problem is people doing it for free and not valuing their own work. If you are going to do something for free, you devalue what I'm doing. Right. It's not and that my makes business to, to, to keep you valuable. Uh, it's your business. You know, people make this complaint about uh, designers who I do totally, spec work. I agree with you. And it, the problem it's is, it's not their job to keep you on. valuable, Peter. Your job is to keep you valuable. My job to do whatever the hell I right. want. But but the way to get good journalism is to figure out how to, you know, fly around the world. I, for the last 17 months, I've been He wants flying. to travel more. No, I, I've flown around the world. We did 300 interviews for this book. It cost more than, I don't know, uh, it cost more than $100,000 in sponsorship, and it cost more than that to do the book because Rackspace was paying for my salary, right? So um, that's what it takes to do real journalism. But we don't want that in a world of Twitter where the, you, you get a little tweet that rolls off the screen. I, I mean, you know, I think if you wanted to yell at Craig Newmark for killing newspapers... I'd agree with you. If you, I mean, if but, you, but Craig has never gone if up. If you wanted to n- yell at uh, Napster for killing the music business, I'd agree with you. you what, Craig, what are you Craig's talking to me called, for? Talk to him. He's I'm just, the one. Who's I'm, I'm spreading my Craig, wisdom. <laughs> I don't know Craig about Newmark that. Craig Newmark has never yelled at the journalists for being idiots for not getting the right. new business. And if, ball. if he, if Craig Newmark gets up on the stage and says, "You newspapers are such morons," then maybe I'll. Uh, but I don't. I Actually, feel like he kind of has. Yeah, he kind of has, hasn't he? But he was right. I think it's a little different, though. He's Anyways. not criticizing the the, 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 the minions, <laughs> the minions. It's, a, it's a, you know, I, I I didn't realize this was such a hot spot, a hot topic for you. A yeah, it's, it's, yeah, apparently I, it's... I care deeply about distribution and getting journalists paid because if we don't pay good journalists, if we don't find a business model for journalists, we won't get good journalism. And so... You're going to get a hot dog Evan has a billion dollars in his pocket. Put your money where your mouth is. Well, maybe he will. He won't. Maybe he will. Nah. Start a journalism school. Let's create a, a new will. business you know, model. I mean, I think to answer you your just question... just dig a, a hole in the ground and call it a journalism school and throw corpses in? I, That's about what it amounts to. <laughs> <I think> they, <laughs> 